This is beautiful round dumb. We have to drive around that away to the campsite. Here it is really chilly. Sleeping bags tonight. And here we go, our campsite for tonight, Rondum. Uh, there's quite a few fixed camps out here. I can barely talk from all the dust. <clears throat> My throat is so dried out, I'm so dehydrated. Are you going to sing a song? What a great personality. You know, they're always smiling, cheery. Hey, well, Sunny and myself are ready to drop dead. <laughs> He's laughing at me because I look like shit. <laughs> I know it. We could have flown from Chicago to Tokyo in the time it took us to drive here to Rangdom. <laughs> Pretty pathetic. That's how bad the road is. When we averaged, let's say, 12 miles an hour, we were doing really good. Well, tomorrow we've got another eight-hour day? Yes, yes. Another eight-hour drive tomorrow, if I same, survive. Same road. Same road, <laughs> eight hours. Uh, let's see. I could be then in Singapore. Yeah, I could be from <laughs> Tokyo to Singapore in the amount of time. We are going to cross a path tomorrow. And we're going to cross a path. We're going, we're going to cross a path. Stay with us. See if we actually survive our Zanskar adventure. That's what we have here in our campsite. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. Every morning you greet me. The pasture is full of Edelweiss. How about that? All right, well, we survived through the night. Of course, there never was a doubt that we wouldn't survive, but it was 40 degrees in the tent overnight. Now that the sun is coming out, it's just beautiful. The stars were magnificent last night. And if you've never camped or trekked in areas like this, you might well ask, where do you go to the toilet? Well, see all this big expanse of grass? What you do is you just go out, never mind if anybody's looking, and you aim your white rear end to the sky and do whatever you have to do. That's what trekking and camping is all about. It's not so bad. Just revert to your old uh, Neolithic inner self. And I've got to tell you, in all the years that we've trekked, we have never, up to now, thank God, gotten ill on trek. You can see how clean and sanitary everything is. They're constantly washing soap, water, drying, meticulous.